Toronto, the biggest city in Canada, is home to 2.5 million people. Residing right beside Lake Ontario and having the landmark of the famous CN Tower. However, with over 2.5 million inhabitants, it is impossible to not have crimes. Within the world of gangs, burglars, murderers, nothing can be of certain Downtown until now. Downtown shut down by a bomb scare. ...were chatting on their webcams. He heard a knock on the victim's door and saw a man walk in the room. There was a physical struggle between the deceased and this male. Um, and my friends who are liberals believe it's unemployment, it's a history of discrimination, it's poverty, things like that, or, or guns. And I think that, uh, you know, when we look at the ups and downs of the homicide rate over time, it really doesn't correlate with those things very well. Uh, what it really correlates with, surprising as it is, is people's feelings towards their government and towards each other. reason for crime is inequality because it's like people who don't make as much steal from people who make more money than them and they break in and also like relating to assault usually assault occurs when you want to occur, like have dominance over another so you feel more powerful and I feel like if there was no inequality then this wouldn't happen as often. Well the Toronto has become a Asian city. The crime has been a out of control, uh, Toronto is not a safe place, I believe. Many would consider Toronto to be one of the safer major metropolitan cities. With this may be true, it also harbors some very dangerous neighborhoods with high crime rates. So at 10, it's Old East York, 9 is Marklin Woods, 8, Centennial Scarborough, 7, Henry Farm, 6. Plater Estates, Danforth 5. Maple Leaf 4. Kingsway South 3. Baby Wood Steels 2. Guildwood and 1. Woodbine, Lumsden There are a total of 154,718 crimes reported last year. Auto theft is approximately 2% of the reported crimes. Auto theft is a common crime in Toronto. There are stolen for various reasons such as the desire to sell the vehicle or vehicle cloning. Vehicle cloning is when vehicles are stolen, given a fraudulent identification number, and then are sold to unsuspecting customers. Auto thefts even occur when criminals merely want to show off their needs. Staying on the topic of automobiles, around 35% of the 154,718 crimes reported are related to traffic laws. It covers a huge chunk of the total crimes reported. Thankfully, but many other crimes are not uh, forgiving. Breaking and entering covers 8% of the total crimes reported. Breaking and entering happens when a criminal wants to commit burglary or when they trespass into private property for intentions of stalking, assault, or committing any other crime. Cat burglars, whom are known for breaking and entering high-story rooms by climbing up the buildings, gain a lot of attention and fame from either the media or other criminals themselves. So, um, Peter Scott, born with the name of Peter Craig Galston, was a famous burglar and thief who was considered king of cat burglars. He was known as the modern Robin Hood, who stole things such as jewelry, money, and artworks from the rich and famous. His infamousy would carry him far enough for some people to consider him as a hero. The famous criminals get from the media only attract these criminals to commit even more 
at Chalk City. Assault, another crime that involves physically hurting or attacking a victim. A huge 33% of the total crimes reported in Toronto are from violent related activities. There are a variety of types of assaults ranging from verbal assault to sexual assault. In Canada, assault is an offense under Section 265 of the Criminal Code of Canada. Whether a person directly or indirectly applies force intentionally for, or to another person, as long as it is, it is uh, without their consent, it can be considered an assault. Threats to commit assaults are also assaults. What you may not know is that pinches or pushing can also be considered an assault unless it is an accident. Potential punishment in Canada varies depending on the type of assault ranging from fines to sentences. Assault also happens to bring over incredible media attention. World Star, from ex for example, is a Facebook page uploading violent assaults for people all over the world to watch. Whether the viewers watch in disgust or excitement, there is no doubt that people are being desensitized. The one wielding the pipe is his hero. It's Chucky. Crime prevention is a very controversial topic. While it is theoretically impossible to stop crimes as a whole, it is very possibly for the amount to be reduced. The Canadian government haven't done too much about this other than law enforcement and criminal justice. However, criminologists have been at the forefront of analyzing what works to prevent crime they believe government should be taking more actions. Some of the plans they thought of include create, implement, and monitor a national action plan for violence prevention, enhance capacity for collecting data on violence, define priorities for and support research on the causes, consequences, costs, and prevention of violence, Promote primary prevention responses. Strengthen responses for victims of violence. Integrate violence prevention into social and educational policies and thereby promote gender and social equality. It is also crucial to know that once these plans are implemented, it will be more cost effective than using law enforcement and criminal justice and it will also lead to greater social benefits. So I think we can see that these things have a dramatic effect and, and it sounds remote, but what it really means is if I feel the government has my back, if I feel the government represented, if I represents me, if I feel empowered, if I feel included, if I feel that I matter, if I feel this connection to my fellow Americans, I can walk through my daily life with more confidence. I can, um, you know, small slights and disagreements, they can, you know, I can let them go because it doesn't really affect how I feel in a deep level because I feel confident.